Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about working multiple dogs at the same time. So we have Jenny, Cedric, and Ferris uh, here. They're from the same household and we're going to just simply go on a short little walk. Uh, so this is starting the training process, conditioning, getting them uh, walking together. So I've got uh, Ferris and or I've got Cedric, the middle dog, and Jenny, the outside dog, the uh, dark colored pity. They're on one leash together. And then I've got Ferris, the white dog, closer to me on a separate leash as well. So this gives me a little bit of control uh, over the dogs just in case I need to separate them. So one thing I will point out before you get to this point, you need to have your obedience trained. So they need to understand the expectations. As you can see here, they're holding a down stay. So I'm not gonna start this day one of training. This is at the point where they've all three uh, learned the obedience commands, understand the expectations, they understand accountability. Uh, then and only then am I gonna start working them together. So here we are, we're going into a heel position. So what I'm doing here is just simply going on a walk. So just like we would if they were individual, I'm gonna hold them to the expectations uh, that they, they all three know. So that is a heel position on my left side. I'm keeping the leash nice and loose. If I need to give accountability, uh, let's say for Ferris, the white dog, if he starts to go a little bit ahead of me, I would just say no and issue a correction for him. He backs up, we say good. So again, we don't use names when we're using accountability. We won't, don't want them to associate that with any kind of punishment or anything like that. So you can see uh, Ginny and Cedric there are lagging behind a little bit. I'm just encouraging them forward with the leash, but they're, they're all three doing very well. Another thing that to point out is you can see their body language. Look at their tail positioning. This will show you a little bit of the differences. Uh, Ferris is a little bit confident. His tail is up. Cedric, he's just kind of hanging out, but a little bit insecure. His tail's slightly lowered, and Jenny's tail uh, was very lowered, so she's she's got a little high levels of insecurity. So just so you can kind of see some of the differences as far as uh, body language goes. So I come to a stop. We expect them to go into an automatic sit or an automatic down. Uh, Jenny and Cedric go into a down. Ferris stays in the sit. So I just give him the down command once we once we stop. I give them the stay. I step away from them. So again, holding them to these expectations. All right. By doing this, you can increase your bond with your pack. We're getting good repetitions of us being a strong leader to them, but you're also working on their bond as well. So this is very important if you have multiple dogs to progress to working to this point. But again, make sure you have that bond in place individually with your dogs and that they understand all the expectations uh, before going to this point. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you next time.